Hi, I'm Kamakshay Musunaru. Uh, this is actually the sequel, sequel to the previous my previous video on building a simple login system using Django base models and as well as forms classes. So the purpose of this video and as well as the previous video is to demonstrate uh, that we don't need to struggle with all those base mechanisms. Like you know, we have half a dozen or more than a dozen or close to a dozen or more than a dozen classes in Zango, they're all actually there for the users to uh, give enough ways to create the login system I mean they define the users and creating registering the users, log, logging in the users uh, they're all actually, Zango supports a lot but in my previous video I've shown you how to uh, create a very simple login system by using uh, two base models, their models as well as forms so while discussing about the models, um, I, I explained you how to create the model and then define some of the fields and then I also shown you as how to define the methods. So here actually I created two methods, one method for the full name, the other method for the maybe I can say short name, <laughs> maybe at this point in time I don't know, maybe first name. So uh, I only explained how to, uh, you know, create a registration registration route and allow the users to make the registration and then redirecting them to the login where the where the users will log in and then thereupon the registers will be log I mean redirected to the home page now in this video I'm just going to talk about uh, I don't know like uh, you know how to make use of this uh, you know I, uh, methods so there are fields in this model and there are also a couple of methods so there is a short name. I, I want to define a full name because I'm going to ask the users as what is their first name and last name. Based on these two essential keys, I'm going to manufacture a full name. And then there is also a short name which is nothing but a first name. <coughs> and then um, I want to define another uh, method that is, uh, you know, normalize email, something like that, self. So here, I will just uh, take you to the, um, maybe I don't like, uh, kind of uh, return self email and then lower. Lower is actually one of the functions, let me show you uh, how does that work. So suppose if anybody gives me the, uh, uh, by default, you know, the, today actually there are many ways to create the emails. Uh, it is also possible to create the email with uh, caps uppercase letters so there I have suppose if I have a string okay uh, maybe like you know I call it as uh, my email at email dot com so this is just a going to be a string suppose if I uh, if I use email lower this is just going to normalize that email so that cap m cap e is just going to be so that is one of the methods mostly, I mean not mostly actually, sometimes we use, uh, I think that those base mechanisms, like if you, if we are using that base user module, an abstract user module, or maybe the user manager, so there actually you have the set password, and then uh, get password, a setter, getter methods, and all everything like, you know, I just don't want to go into the, very deep into the methods. So I, I'm just going to show you how to create a simple model, I just explained you how to create a simple model and then define the fields as well as methods. So in this video, what I'm going to show you is that how to make use of these methods. Okay, actually, why do we use this, uh, you know, the uh, some of the base, uh, you know, the login, uh, base classes meant for the login system? That is because they are so dynamic in uh, creating the methods. User methods. User method means any method which is being defined by the user. So just like this, like you know, we got the full name, short name, normalize email. This is actually the main purpose of using some of the default and inbuilt, uh, you know, the base classes meant for the login system. But here, I'm not using any any of this. I'm just using models, one class for the models and one class for the forms. Okay, just by using because we we need to depend on some kind of class without depending on. I cannot define my own class, right? So only through inheritance it is possible. So we need to have some class and uh, uh, in order to inherit that class uh, and create our own class and then define the methods and the fields, something like that. Now the purpose of this demonstration is to show you how to make use of these uh, 
you know methods along with this you know the class which we have defined by inheriting the properties of this uh, you know base model class so rest everything is same so i just uh, you know introduce these two methods just you know the, the, i just want to print the full name i want the short name which means the first name and then the normalized email so i um, will we are just going to now what i need to do is since i did some changes in my model so i have to you know make migration migrations make migrations and then uh, no changes were detected and then migrate so actually it should uh, detect the changes i don't know why migrate so this is just no migration service now python manage dot ui runs uh, so this video is perhaps more important compared to the last video because in last video I've just shown you the basic mechanisms of creating the login system but in this video I'm just going to show you how to make use of these methods the base methods this is actually the very interesting point I'm just showing you very base mechanisms uh, we can do miracles uh, by defining uh, you know the methods uh, this is actually the the way we can make use of uh, object orientation in python to the fuller extent now at this point in time if i take you to the if i take you to the uh, my okay so it is as usual so we just got everything uh, i want to create a, maybe like you know i will just go to the register page here and then i create a paragraph tag go to because every time i can go to login page okay so this is actually nothing to do with the main purpose of the video i'm just trying to ease my login we have the route login so that is go to login page which that's okay fine okay now uh, so what i need to do is that I'll just do in views what I do is I'll go here after I create the after I register here register and save the user now while logging in I have to call these methods so one of the method the first method is the user full name that is if user I think I should come here user full name is going to be user dot full name okay and then uh, user short name that is going to be user dot since that user is saved we can uh, you know implement these methods we can actually execute these methods and then retrieve the information from the existing data uh, maybe short name i think i don't know this is actually a short name so that we can do these are all actually the empty methods we don't need to worry this is a short name and then I got a user normalized normalized uh, email is equal to user normalize I don't know what is the I forgot the normalize email this is actually the method so yeah, normalize email now we got the data to retrieve what I do is Mm, I'll just uh, you know re return maybe I don't know HTTP response okay and here I can make an F string that is just going to be the the user full name is this one user full name uh, semicolon and the and the users short name is and then i will put that uh, user short name and then semicolon and the users normalized email is and then here users normalized email i think i don't know okay. this is actually now i want to do this let's uh, so all the methods are, uh, these are the three methods, methods which I defined inside my class and uh, you should be able to, now let's go to the home, I think uh, my server is running, 
Now let's go to the registration page. I already have some some data. Here I call uh, username is uh, I call Kamakshaya. This time I and then uh, first name is Kamakshaya. Kamakshaya and number Sumeru something. Now MK I call three because there is two over there. Uh, it is then MK at some bullshit information. Now we'll come to the login page. So MK3 at uh, and then uh, yeah, registration model object has no attribute short name. Short 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 name. Mm, SHORT short name. Short name is there. I think somewhere we've, we've been. short name so I migrated everything uh, as far as my Python manage or DY make migrations I don't know where am I going wrong my migrate there's nothing no migrations are there but I don't know why this is showing wrong so Short name is there. Let's go to the user short name. User short name. What is the message? And we got something called hmm, what is the message? I forgot. So user full name. This is user short name, user short name, and the normalized user email. Now in models, we got self written self f name. It's okay, fine. Okay, so now if I go to login, mk, yeah. The user full name is Kamakshay Musnuru and the user short name is Kamakshay. So all these methods are working, right? So this way we can create n number of methods based on our requirements, our necessity. And then we can make use of all those methods um, without a doubt while retrieving the information from the da da database. So thanks for watching this video. So I think this video is useful to, to know about uh, I think I demonstrated as how to define the methods uh, along with a class inside a class and make use of them in the templates. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for the new content. Please like my video and also subscribe to my video channel. Thanks once again.